Well, the next one up that I know is opening this weekend, and, and you know me well enough now to know that I, I love a good action thriller. Um, I love, and I love sci-fi. So I see this preview for Chronicle, and, and of course I'm hooked at least in the interest side of things because, you know, the the, the setup is these these kids, I guess, right? These high schoolers, the high schoolers, that, that, term, that realize they have these supernatural powers, like. Apparently, the ability to move matter without touching it, and it kind of looks like things maybe go a little south on. Them. Yes, you just described it. Three teenage boys who find in a cave. Uh, they they make this discovery. Um, even after watching the film, I'm not sure what they discovered. <laughs> it, it, okay. It's white and blue, and it looks glassy. And my guess was. And maybe I missed something. Maybe maybe I turned at the wrong time. But it, it seemed to me that it mu it's implying that it w must have been left over by aliens or something. Okay. Okay. Anyways, it's a, it's a they all get these supernatural powers. And you're right, they're telekinetic. They can move stuff, and then they eventually can fly like Superman. Oh, but it okay. but it really gives them the ability in this movie. I mean, you can go anywhere you want with that kind of ability. It could be a lot of fun. It's that X Men mutant power type thing, and where are they going to go? But in this way, it's it's three teenage boys behaving badly uh, because they have these supernatural powers. One uh, c gets to pick up girls for the first time, you know. Uh -huh. um, the others get to go party, party, hardy, you know, and uh, and they get to swear a lot more. Well, actually, they probably would still swear a whole lot, which they do an awful lot, even if it wasn't for their superpowers. If there was one good message, if I look at the film, say, was there any good message? It's the idea, especially with one of the teenage boys, that absolute power corrupts absolutely. Okay. But I suppose we could learn that message a lot cleaner, a lot quicker, a lot more differently than have to wait through all the yuck of this movie to get there. And besides, it really ends in a very depressing uh, way. When I walked out, the people repping the film said, well, Bob, what'd you think? And I said, one word, depressing. And it was, it was depressing. Um, I gave it a two out of five for family friendly.